Hey, here I am uh, again, Richard Miller, um, Facts for Working People, and I want to make a couple of comments. Uh, see, the title of this is about the no gossiping, uh, about the um, rock slap at the Oscars that I don't personally watch, and people who uh, are opposed to that sort of stuff don't watch it. But of course, uh, that doesn't mean we shouldn't talk about it. We don't need to gossip about it and have it replace uh, the horrible tragedy, horrible things that are going on around the world, which is what the ruling class use things like that for. But that doesn't mean we shouldn't talk about it. Socialists, trade unionists, people that are concerned because, you know, workers are talking about it. Millions of workers around, uh, around the world are talking about it, actually. <clears throat> and also, here in the US, the black community is going to be discuss discussing that. We've seen articles from important, uh, not just celebrities, but thinkers within the black community uh, uh, about this question. So I'm going to share my views on it a little bit. And um, my views, and I think the, the most important thing for us is the question of free speech. And, and we unequivoc unequivocally defend the right of free, uh, to, to free speech. And, and uh, that's the first step. And the second, of course, for me, is that Will Smith was completely out of line. Will Smith is a privilege, all of them there. They're all millionaires patting each other on the back. Will Smith is uh, worth hundreds of million dollars, probably. He's a, a privileged individual. Uh, 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 and I condemn his response. Chris Rock, I think, uh, he's come out shining in, 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 as far as I'm concerned, just uh, the fact that he, and I've only seen the clip, I didn't watch the Oscars, um, he, uh, he handled it well, he kept, he kept the thing going, it must have been quite a shock for him. Uh, 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 but the, the other side of that is that... Um, had he known, he said he didn't know she had this ailment, and I agree, it's not leukemia, it's the people that are supporting him and uh, condemning Smith and everything else, but she has this ailment, uh, balding for a woman, which is a bit different than for a man. And um, had he, I've, I've heard that he didn't know about it, but if he did, he, I think it would have been best uh, if, he, if he stayed uh, clear of it and not, not raised that. Um, so the thing is with free speech, I, you defend the right to free speech, absolutely, but it has consequences. You can't, when you say things, it has consequences. And uh, I remember a discussion I had with a friend about the Charlie Hebdo thing. Remember when the, uh, those um, guys went into that cartoonist public publisher in France, slaughtered everybody and everything else, and there were people all going around here with... Um, the US with I am France, they on their Facebook pages, they had the flag of France and so forth and, and everything else. Well, the thing is, you can't see these things in isolation. I'm not justifying handling it in that way. But, but, but the question is, is that those, some of those cartoons, from what I understand, were, were pornographic, uh, a, a religious figure that they, uh, Muslims, t f um, they have uh, certain uh, awe and praise, and it was like Jesus, he wasn't a god or, or uh, anything, a human being, a prophet, uh, uh, Muhammad was. And, um, and the other aspect of it is this, North Africans, Muslims and Arabs are a minority in France, they were a colony of France, they are about 80, well, last time I recall, about 80% of the population and 10% of the prison population. So they're an oppressed minority there. They're not really French. They're from Africa and everything else. So it takes place in, in that, it, within something else. What is it that his dialectical materialists always talk about? That everything is connected to, so nothing act, cut, takes place, nothing happens in isolation of anything else. And that you've got to look at it from within that perspective. You don't condemn what happened, but you, you, you're running around here in the U.S. with uh, we're all French now. We're, where were they in Fallujah? If you talk to young people, they won't know about Fallujah. That was uh, because uh, what, what reminded me of Fallujah was that people are talking about Kiev or Mari, Mari, Mariupol, uh, the, the, uh, the crisis and the, the shelling and bombing of these cities in Ukraine by the Russians. But um, who knows who 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 went who goes around uh, with with Fallujah? I am Fallujian. I am I am Iraqi. I am a Muslim in support. A lot of young people don't even know about Fallujah. Fallujah will be a for for the for for eons for for time immemorial. Fallujah is a city in northern Iraq. It will forever be a shrine uh, in 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 reverence to the sacrifice of that that the the population of that city, who who were slaughtered, including their city, were slaughtered by um, violent invaders. And the invaders there were the U.S. The U.S. And it was a retaliation 
in Fallujah because the Fallujians killed four U.S. mercenaries in Iraq. The U U.S. invaded Iraq under no uh, no reason. They never threatened anybody. Never threatened us. Had nothing to do with 911. And then the mercenaries were over there. Been horrific things going on over there. We don't know the best, of, the little about them. They killed I don't know a million people. Uh, I made a mistake, but you know, whoops, sorry. And so uh, uh, Fallujah, nobody, nobody went around with Fallujah. I am Fallujah. Uh, uh, things, and they they literally went through that town. The Marines went through through that town and punished them for retaliating against uh, uh, the invading forces there, the the, the U.S. who were the, the the responsible party. But that will forever be a shrine among Iraqi Muslim and Arab people. So you can't look at anything in in in, in isolation. And so and and if you take for for me for example, uh, um, religion. You know, I knock religion big time. I'm not a religious person. I have no time for organized religion. It doesn't mean a damn thing to me. When somebody says something to me, well, Jesus this, or Muhammad that, or, or that, it means they're not a damn thing to me. I don't care. I don't judge you by any of that. You know, because I don't even believe Jesus existed. But nevertheless, it's an important person uh, uh, in, in, in millions of people's eyes. There's prophet to the Islam and uh, God, the son of a three-part God uh, in, in, in Christian philosophy. But when I, I knock the Catholic Church, something terrible. It's a human institution, an organized church. is a human institution. But I would no more think of putting pornographic images on my blog uh, of Jesus with with women or with other men, uh, 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 in, 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 as some means of uh, just getting at religion, it's that's a different question. It's an absolutely no point in it. I remember when I was at work and uh, there was a, well, actually I was on a rally down at the docks and it was a bit about against the Marshall Island sailors that were working for cheaper than hours. It was a, uh, to get out of paying American. Uh, sailors, uh, union wages and all that, going out to the former colonial world or the third world and getting hiring, I think it was the Marshall Islands, and guys put the Marshall Island flag on there and stomped on it and I opposed it. I spoke at it at the Central Labour Council. I said, this is disaster. I said, we, we, they're not our enemy. And, and somebody asked me, well, do you believe, would you support burning the flag, the right to burn the flag in the US? And I said, I do, I do. I don't believe this, they should forbid burning the US flag. But that's going to have consequences. The other thing for me is it just doesn't accomplish anything. You're going to possibly um, uh, alienate allies, uh, 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 you know, in your struggle for, uh, for whatever struggle you're in. It's just pointless to do something like that. So my, my view on this thing, I think uh, Karim Abdul-Jabbar had a great, um, uh, a great uh, article about it. Uh, Will Smith, as far, as far as I'm concerned, got away light. He should have been kicked out of there. He should have even been there for his, the presentation of his, uh, like Wanda Sykes did, you know. He isn't here, she should have been out, he isn't here to get his, his reward, his award. You know, Chris Rock, uh, handle it as, if, if the, small, the only mistake he might have made is if he knew about it, it'd have been better to stay away from it. But he came out shining in that one. And, uh, you know, and so that, but the important thing is the question of free speech. Whether it's there, whether it's with Charlie Hebdo, whether it's the right to burn the American flag, and all this, that and the other. Free speech, yes, but it has consequences. And you have to think about uh, what will they, those consequences be and will they advance the interests that I'm trying to uh, fight for and so forth. Just a few words for me today was thinking about it on the trail so um, anyway that's me Richard Meller, Facts Working People and I would like to say um, I'm going to probably put this on the blog. Um, any of the videos, because I have a, it's sort of mixed up, but I have a YouTube channel that I put it on first. If you like any of my stuff on the YouTube channel, or if you see it on the blog and then you like it, you can uh, you look at it, you, you can go to the YouTube channel, and please like it on YouTube, because apparently that's how it, it gets to be seen by more uh, other people. If you like it, you have no major objection to any of the videos on there, please like them, okay? It will help, help me. Okay, uh, Richard Meller, Facts for Working People. And uh, the URL of the blog is we know what's up, no apostrophe, we know what's up dot blogspot dot com. Okay, thank you very much.